Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and something that a lot of flat earthers do is they ask for proof that water can stick to the bottom of a spinning ball. And so I'll show them photos from Himawari. And the immediate response to that is, well those photos are fake, if I showed you a photo of a unicorn does that mean that unicorns exist? But you also have flat earthers that want video evidence of stuff. Never mind that video is just a whole lot of photos. But then there's also flat earthers that want video evidence of curvature. And when you show them video evidence of curvature, they say, well that's just a fisheye lens. So the question here is, are photos and videos an acceptable form of evidence? And it's not just a simple yes or no answer. Take for example, this video that you're watching right now. Is it evidence that I exist? Now one could argue that it's not evidence at all because it's just a bunch of photos and sound waves. But that ignores something that really helps when you're trying to come to a conclusion about something. Context. Now the first bit of context is how realistic do I look? I think I look pretty realistic. However, that can be explained with CGI. CGI can make some pretty realistic looking people as well. So what about my voice? What about me saying stuff? Well, there's always the possibility that an AI exists that can replicate people's voices. Now, if there was no other context, you could conclude that I don't exist. But there is more context. So the other context is I've been on quite a few live streams. I've been on my own live streams, I've been on Team Skeptic's live streams, I've been on the Silly Shields show, I've been on Fight the Flat Earth's live streams. Now that would be incredibly difficult to fake because you would need to have someone generating responses on the fly. Not to mention another bit of context, cost. It would cost a lot of money to have a CGI version of me that looks and talks exactly like me. It would be a hell of a lot cheaper to either A, have a person talking to a camera like what you're seeing, or B, just have a stick figure that I do a voiceover for. The amount of context around the existence of myself means that I probably exist. There's no reason to think that I don't exist. So let's apply this to possible photos of unicorns. So how difficult would it be to fake a photo of a unicorn? Pretty easy. All you have to do is stick a horn on a horse and you're done. If I had a hoi ho and a horn, I'd be able to do that pretty easily. Also, hoi ho is Tereo for horse. Now, it is possible that you could add further context to an image of a unicorn. It's just that it's very easy to fake an image of a unicorn. Now, how about something a little more difficult? How about an image of a dragon? That has been done. Game of Thrones has heaps of images of dragons. But the context of that is they generally don't appear outside of the media that they're in. So what do I mean by this? Well, if dragons actually existed, you would have people that are independent of Hollywood going and looking for dragons and finding them and taking photos or videos of them. These photos and videos would end up on places like YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, Imgur. Another bit of context is that the people that make these shows aren't trying to say, hey look, these dragons actually exist in the real world. They actually show them creating the dragons. So let's move on to the Himawari photos, the ones that flat earthers like to claim are all CGI. So it would actually be surprisingly difficult to fake these photos because people have gone ahead and verified that the weather patterns seen within these photos are correct. So this means that if you were to try and fake the Himawari photos, it means that you would have to gather weather data from weather stations in New Zealand, Australia, China, North Korea, South Korea, Japan, and Indonesia, and a few other places as well. Good luck getting the North Koreans to agree to give you their weather data. Now not only would there be a lot of cost involved, there would be a lot of work that would have to be done to make sure that these images had nothing wrong with them. Now whilst that may not seem like a big challenge, keep in mind that they have the luxurious amount of time of 10 minutes to get each image done. It takes me about an hour to create static clouds on a ball and blender and that's not even trying to animate them. And just to add a little bit more to that, Himawari has discovered forest fires before anybody knew about those fires. I have a hard time believing that the images from Himawari are fake because just saying CGI doesn't really explain all that context. In fact, I think that it's even more likely that I'm CGI than the images from Himawari are, and that's coming from someone that knows that he's not CGI. Well, to the extent of which I can observe, it could be that this is all just a simulation and what I'm seeing is 
generated by a computer, in which case everything would be CGI. Now what about the claim of high altitude footage that shows a curve is just fisheye lens? Now we do know that fisheye lens can indeed cause straight lines to appear curved, but how? So if you look at any fisheye lens, any straight line that's above the centre of the image will be curved upwards like that. Any line that is below the centre of the image will be curved downwards like that. And the further away from the centre of the image that the line gets, the more that these curves will be exaggerated. So that means if a supposedly straight line dips below the centre of the image and is still curved upwards, I have bad news for you. That line is not straight. So there we go. You can use images for evidence. It just all depends on the context of that image. Now I get that the flat earthers will still be arguing, ah, the Himawari satellite photos are fake. CGI. And if you want to argue that, please give me a good argument as to why I am not CGI. Because if the Himawari satellite photos are CGI, then pretty much any photo can be CGI. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you liked that video. Leave a comment letting me know what topics you'd like me to address. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. The Sun Express, What Jesus, Fight the Flat Earth, Holmes, Huge Us, MC Nutkin, Wolfie, Stringer News One, Ash Panache, Curtis Reynolds, Curvy New Yorker, One True Chaos, and Sisyphus. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon, link will be in the description. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching. Have my patrons gone past yet? I really have no idea. I'm just staring at the camera. I could do this for ages, but I'm not gonna.